19th century English philosopher George Henry Lewis once said, the only cure for grief is action. The action can take many forms, including expressing feelings through art. Michael Schlesinger takes us to the Milwaukee Art Therapy Collective to see just how a little color can quickly brighten one's own canvas. For me, art has always been healing. This is exactly why Tanya Peters is an artist and runs a gallery. She always hopes her passion will have a broad brush impact on others. Reminding me of the joyful things that are in my life. Um, all of my art has meaning. This art therapist started a safe space for other creative types a handful of years ago called the Milwaukee Art Therapy Collective. It's here where she offers periodic group sessions for those enduring some kind of grief or loss. Whether it is somebody as close as your parent or your child to losing your, your pet, a companion, a best friend, anybody um, going through the loss of a divorce, um, maybe an, an estrangement. If there's something that you're grieving in your life that is significantly impacting your, your quality of life, the first task at hand, or as Tanya calls it, a directive, involves writing down your thoughts on paper and then tearing up the page. The torn pieces, in turn, become part of a collage. Art has been around forever and has always been a form of therapy. So why not take it a step further and use it as a form of psychotherapy? Tanya stresses the gatherings are a non-judgment zone. There's no such thing as bad art. They have something visual to say, wow, this is how I've been feeling. I had no idea. Paintings and visual, like collage, whatever it is, like they can speak a lot more than words can speak for, for a lot of people. The final result becomes a rather powerful symbol. Really focus on something tangible as you're holding it in your hands and putting it into a visual image. If you think about letting go, you know, that's got to come out some way. She adds another way of looking at it is walking away with an art piece that is meaningful to you and that the memories are there but it's really a beautiful piece of art and creating something um, beautiful from the pain that you're experiencing. This group leader also stresses every piece created is up for one's own interpretation. This unicorn she made is a prime example. I can look at that unicorn and I can see where the, the grief and the pain is, whereas the viewer would look at it as this like really beautiful unicorn. And until you look closely, then maybe you can see what has come out of, of me. This memory box of sorts is another example of hers. Allowing somebody to open it and on the inside really helps reveal a lot of my own grief and loss and what I was going through. But there's also a sense of promise, inclusiveness, and relatability. While this piece has a lot of trauma and loss in it, I can look at it and see the, the joy and that I am letting go and sharing with others that First of all, you're not alone. She believes these bonds are a figurative glue in a way. By getting that support from others and accepting where you're at in your grief process is, is really huge. And also being compassionate and patient with yourself is really important. But something to remember about grief, it lessens but never really goes away. <laughs> Nobody really truly gets healed from grief, right? It becomes easier over time. Um, but from my personal experience and having lost my dad five years ago, there are still some moments that I wake up and I feel like I'm in the first phase of healing. But it does, there is help. A few artsy references can help paint even a better picture. I'll be on this journey for the rest of my life, just like anybody that comes here to see me that is going through this this struggle with their their own grief it's it's a journey you just take different paths with with paintbrush in hand yeah paintbrush paper glue glue sticks whatever it is so yeah so what